This October too, as farmers across Haryana and Punjab hurriedly cleared their fields for the next crop by setting fire to the rice straw left post harvesting, Delhi and its neighbors Haryana and Punjab were engulfed in a dense smog and severe air pollution. The specter of stubble burning has become an annual phenomenon now in the northern belt. It is to deter farmers from setting the rice straw to fire that the 2G ethanol plant is being set up at the Indian Oil Corporation's refinery at Panipat. The second generation ethanol plant at the Indian Oil Refinery at Panipat was inaugurated in August this year. Here in this plant, built at a cost of 900 crore, dry rice straw or stubble, which is an agricultural waste, is converted directly into ethanol, a biofuel, without burning. The plant, which will be commissioned next month, will go a long way in reducing pollution in Delhi, National Capital Region and Haryana, which are worst affected by stubble burning from neighbouring states like Haryana and Punjab. This plant will utilise 2 lakh metric tonnes of dry rice straw annually to generate around 3 crore litres of ethanol. The 2G plant might not be enough to put the lid on pollution but will save 3 lakh metric tons of carbon dioxide emission per annum, which is equivalent to removing 62,000 cars from the road. And coupled with a second 3G ethanol plant that is in the process of being commissioned shortly at the IOCL's Panipat refinery, in the long run, the two plants will contribute to reducing India's net crude import bill. Currently, almost 80% of the crude that is processed in India is imported. We have with us Mr. Emil Dharia, Executive Director at the Indian Oil Corporation's Panipat Refinery here with us. Welcome to the print, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, sir, uh, behind you we can see the dry rice straw uh, or the stubbles uh, lying here. So what's actually happening here? Can you explain it to us? Uh, ma'am, uh, this uh, plant we have uh, is installed to uh, basically process that paddy straw which are uh, normally the farmers used to burn it in their uh, this, uh, land. So that scheme is uh, we will collect those uh, this paddy straw which are left out uh, after that harvesting and uh, it will be baled. Uh, you will see this is uh, the baled one and uh, each one, uh, each bale has around uh, 7 to 8 uh, uh, kgs of uh, this bales are there and the bales are formed by the balers who are there at the field and the government has provided those baling machines also and uh, these balers are uh, this baling it and uh, they are handing it over to our depots and uh, as per the agreement with this uh, government of Haryana we have uh, uh, asked for the 100 uh, acres of lands for storing up uh, 1 lakh uh, tons of uh, uh, this paddy straw. But uh, right now they have already handed over uh, three uh, segments of the lands, around 56 acres, where we have already started uh, uh, this storing these uh, bales. And we are getting these bales from these uh, farmers or APOs. They are uh, providing to, uh, giving it to our that uh, contractors who is managing the uh, depots. And from there they are uh, transporting it to us. So, sir, when will this uh, 2G ethanol plant become operational? Uh, we have already in, uh, in the phase of the commissioning of the plants and uh, next month uh, hopefully we will be producing this ethanol from this uh, petty store. Annually, the plant will require 2.1 lakh metric tons of rice straw to produce 3 crore litre of ethanol, which comes to 100 kilolitre per day. The Haryana government has facilitated the process of getting the farmer produce organizations together. They have also set the price that the farmers will get per ton of stubble that they supply, which otherwise was worth nothing. On an average, 80 to 100 trucks will be required per day, with each truck carrying 8 metric tons of rice straw. For the farmers, it's a win-win. IOCL will give the FPOs Rs. 1800 per metric ton of rice straw. The FPOs in turn will pay the farmers approximately Rs. 1000 per metric ton. Once the rice straw reaches the plant's premises, it will be stocked in a special earmarked storage area. As of now, the space available inside the plant 
is enough to stock two days worth of rice straw. It's from the storage area that the rice straw will go for processing to different sections, milling, wet washing, pre-treatment, hydrolysis and finally fermentation before ethanol is generated. From the time uh, the paddy crop is harvested in the field till the dry rice straw comes to this refinery, can you just run us through the process involved? Well, you see, once the, uh, the harvesting season arrives, so the paddy in the fields which have ripened are harvested and the grain is separated and sent to the markets. But what remains on the field is the, the remnant of the paddy uh, plant, which is the husk or the stalk. Now that is, uh, that is gathered and baled by the farmers. So the government of Haryana has uh, provided the farmers with baling machines. And using these baling machines, the, uh, the straw is baled into cubes and then they are gathered by farm producing organizations and aggregated. So these aggregated bales are brought to us. We have got uh, 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 three uh, storage depots that are currently under establishment. So the bales will come there and be stocked for the rest of the year, which is about uh, for a, this plant that we have set up has a capacity of 100 kiloliters per day and the feed requirement for the entire year is about 2 2.1 lakh tons of paddy straw so this paddy straw that is collected in the depots will be fed to the plant on a daily basis the daily requirement is about 700 tons which will be brought to here in tractors and trucks and we will be processing the straw in this uh, plant that we have just set up uh, to convert it into 99.8 percent ethanol now this ethanol will be blended with the motor spirit which is uh, available for the uh, consumers in the re retail outlets. So sir, is this the first of its kind second generation ethanol plant in India? Well to the best of my knowledge is the first of its kind in Asia. Okay. Uh, certainly in India, yes. Okay. And do we have a similar plant elsewhere outside India? Well there are these plants uh, I understand in countries like Brazil and US but not in Asia and uh, in India this is the first we are showcasing this as one of our uh, trophy projects you may say mm -hmm. because this is the first time we, we have ventured into ethanol mm. uh, certainly the first in India yes there are uh, three other uh, such plants being uh, set up in different parts of the country but uh, this is the closest to commissioning and the most advanced so certainly this is the first in India a 3G ethanol plant is also coming up in this uh, IOCL refinery at Panipat. So when is it uh, going to be commissioned and what will be its capacity? Well, 3G uh, ethanol is also in, a, in the final stages of commissioning. We, right now, as we speak, our engineers are already commissioning that plant. Uh, the capacity is 128 kiloliters per day. and But the process is different over here. The ethanol in this plant where we are standing, ethanol is produced from... Uh, rice straw but in the 3G ethanol plant ethanol is produced from the off gases that we get from the hydrogen generation unit uh, we will be we will be producing ethanol by the end of this month in the 3G plant so the more ethanol we generate in the country uh, the the import burden of crude oil is going to be reduced as you know India is a net importing uh, crude importing country so any contribution that goes towards the reduction in crude import uh, goes towards the uh, towards saving money for the exchequer. So, so what has been the increase in the ethanol blended petrol that sold in the market from say I mean what was the figure earlier what is it now? See uh, ethanol blending is a recent phenomenon especially in India so the government of India came up with this policy some about six seven years back and we started blending ethanol in motor spirit and uh, in a country like India where the, cons uh, the consumption is very high obviously you can't do this overnight uh, so from modest beginnings we started blending ethanol in motor spirit and today we are at the 10 percent mark so every liter of uh, motor spirit that you are petrol that you buy from the market will have about 10 percent ethanol in it the government of India's policy is to have 20% ethanol by 2025 and we are on course to doing this and this plan that you see behind us is probably one of the steps towards achieving that. So what are the other ongoing projects that's going on in the refinery? Uh, 
As far as uh, Panipat refinery is concerned, this is the hub of uh, all project activities. The majority of Indian oil's project investments is happening over here. Uh, this, this refinery complex that we have is uh, currently a 15, uh, 15 million metric tons refinery and we are soon going to expand it into 25 million tons. So work is underway, that's a 35,000 uh, crore project. Uh, other than that, uh, this 2G ethanol plant where we are standing is a 910 crore project, it's on the verge of completion. 3G ethanol is a 750 ton, uh, 50 crore project, that's also on the verge of completion. And we are setting up Indian Oil's first ever catalyst manufacturing plant here at Panipat, which is again a first for us. Uh, that in, a, in another two or three months we shall be completing and commissioning and manufacturing catalysts for uh, DHDT and FCC. These are two process units uh, of the refinery. Other than that, at this point of time we, are, uh, we, are, we have embarked a very large uh, commissioning uh, exercise for revamping our petrochemicals, naphtha cracker as well as monoethylene glycol. So that is going to be completed in another one month's time. Uh, capacity expansion and then we have a capacity expansion project of uh, PX and uh, PTA that is purified terephthalic acid which is also underway. So all put together there are uh, a number of projects that are currently underway which will be seeing the light of the day within the next uh, few months. Uh, the total investment in this uh, complex is uh, about uh, 55,000 crores. The second generation ethanol plant at Panipat which will become operational next month will not only reduce pollution level in this northern belt especially during the winter months but in the long run will also play a role in reducing India's crude import bill. This is Moshumi Das Gupta along with Pooja Kher reporting from Indian Oil Corporation's 2G ethanol plant at Panipat.